You know, it's estimated that 80% of all accidents at sea are the result of human, or to be precise, operator error. But while operator error may be the immediate cause of an accident, the root cause is often the human influences on the design or operation of a ship or its systems. So it's the human factors that need some serious consideration. And in this program, that's exactly what they're going to get. The Nautical Institute, London. With more than 40 branches worldwide and over 7,000 members in over 110 countries, the Nautical Institute is dedicated to helping the maritime industry improve the safety and efficiency of shipping. And one of the ways it is doing that is through a series of bulletins titled Alert. These bulletins, together with the website, aim to raise the awareness of the human element in the design, construction and operation of ships across the whole of the maritime sector. And in every issue there are contributions from the most respected marine professionals. Owners and operators, ship designers, shipbuilders, engineers, P&I clubs and of course the ship's crew. Technology has revolutionised the way in which uh, ships and their systems are designed and operated, but there still remains a need for human involvement at some stage or other, no matter how much automation is uh, introduced. Now, it's estimated that human error costs the maritime industry $541 million a year, and over a period of 15 years, uh, claims that are over $100,000 have cost one major P&I club's members $2.6 billion, 62% of which is attributable to human error. The thing is, what do we mean by the human element? Well, in the maritime context, it means anything that influences the interaction between a human and any other human, system or machine aboard ship. So communication, leadership, competence, standards of training, the culture on board, working practices, the design of the ship, layout, lighting, noise levels. Just some of the human element issues that need to be addressed if we want to operate our ship safely. But that process doesn't start here. Or even here. Human element considerations don't just start at the design stage and finish at build. They must be applied throughout the ship's life cycle, especially when updating the role or manning philosophies or when retrofitting new systems or equipment. This involves a lot of key people or stakeholders. And all stakeholders have to work closely together to ensure that a ship is fit for purpose and that the master and the crew are provided with the proper tools and are adequately trained to be able to conduct their business in a safe and efficient manner. Human element, we've got to consider the complete life cycle of the ship and recognize that if we want to make a difference, all the stakeholders involved in that life cycle have to make a positive contribution, and that includes you. You need to consider your career and the human element issues that will affect everything you do on a daily basis. And this is where Alert can help facing the issues, increasing awareness providing top-class comment and advice from maritime professionals around the world. And here's a few more human element issues for you to think about. Stress, regulations, health and safety, system safety, automation, familiarization, integration, and we're looking at all of them in this and other issues of Alert. So thanks for watching. See you again soon.